Hey there, friends. It's me, of course, the only Sir Cracker yet again. I'm wearing my shirt with Jack on it. Um, I'm here in my makeshift grow room today. And, uh, or this evening, it's actually late at night. I just got off of work. And just kind of looking at my tomato plants. Um, I would say that they're pretty getting, they're getting big. Kind of on the long and lanky side of things. Um, I don't know how they're going to do if we go another week or so in, in the room here before, or even two weeks or so before I put them in the garden. I don't know how much, how much bigger they're going to get. They really are trying to grow towards the light and... <clears throat> And I don't know. I'm I want to promote growth, and yet I don't want them to be too long and lanky and crazy or anything. But let me um let me grab my excuse me here. Oops, oops. Sorry, sorry. Let me give you a a shot from out here so you can see how they're doing. So they're <coughs> they're growing pretty big. Um, they're getting flowers on them. I don't know how well you can or cannot see this, um, <clears throat> but they're getting flowers. So all these flowers are all going to have to come off. Um, like Ray was saying, Ray just did a video, um, either today or yesterday, and he was talking about his tomatoes praxis. Um, he has a praxis... Uh, cherry tomato that he was doing and he was talking about trimming the, the flowers off <clears throat> and uh, yeah yeah I, I definitely think that might be might be a good idea to ooh, what is it might be a good idea to trim off the um, the flowers so I do I want the growth to go into everything else but I don't know. I don't. <coughs> I don't want them to be long and lanky. But I also just got rid of a bunch of suckers. Whoops, my bad. Uh, not a big fan of making mistakes, but it happens. So I'm just gonna take my scissors. You probably can't see, but. There we go. I'm going to take my scissors and trim this flower off. There we go. That one's for you, Ray. <laughs> I'll take this one over here off, too. Uh, I don't want, I guess, Ray makes a very valid point. If you have the flowers on your tomato plants, then they risk the the chance of slowing down which is fine i want them to slow down but on the other end of it i don't want uh i don't want them to to uh i don't know i i want my tomato plants to grow I don't want them to be long and lanky. Which is these are <clears throat> these are not these are not bush variety. These um uh, first ladies are um indeterminants and they grow long and lanky. That's what they do. And they grow forever and ever and ever and ever. These great big long, long vines. So I'll bury them pretty deep. I'll probably take about six inches and put in dirt. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it's been a long day. Long day at work. I'm tired. I've been trimming my branches back. Here, let me show you. I've been trimming my branches back so they're not long, like here. So I still got a few leaves on them, but 
they're not these long overbearings like this. So this will go on forever and ever and ever. But I've been trimming them back. So I've got a couple of couple of leaves on them. So the plant gets nutrients, but it's not like a forest in here, even though it is kind of like a forest in here. Oh, I want to show you this too. I played with it since you were last in the makeshift grow room. Well, that one doesn't want to work. Okay, so this is my lemon that I grew from seed. It had another branch on it that was right here and it came off. And I put a stake in it to try to get, because this is a branch. And I'm trying to turn it back into the main trunk of the tree. The main trunk used to come out of here and it died. And then these two branches came off. And this is one of the two branches. And so I'm trying to promote it to go straight up. Um, I want I want it to be a nice tall tree um, and then kind of bush on top so it's you know one one tall thing and then there's a bush on top kind of like the the avocado <clears throat> and there was one there was a branch here that came off and I cut it flush to the trunk of the tree because I don't want branches coming off this soon i want to get probably right now this this is probably about let's say about 30 inches tall from the soil to this point here and i don't want to get probably another foot and a half before i let it branch out i want it to when <clears throat> when my avocado is sitting on the floor <coughs> The pot anyways was sitting on the floor about here is where i want all the fruit to be right at eye level so when it does finally decide to flower and fruit that's where i want it to be is on eye level and i'm not going to get any flowers or fruit off of that probably for quite some time which is fine um it's just an indoor house plant and it could go 20 years and if i don't get any fruit on it then i don't get any fruit on it i'm really not all that worried about it <laughs> Um, let's with the pepper. so <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Not a whole lot of nothing. Oh, um, let me show you here this too. If you look down inside, the pineapple's growing again. Thank you so much, Ray. Um, you are absolutely amazing. <clears throat> you know, I, I want to recommend, I mean, if any. If you people out there, uh, if any of you want to learn how to garden um, and be darn good gardeners and have a green thumb, I definitely recommend checking out the Voodoo Garden and the Praxis. I can never remember the number 15821 or something. I can never remember the, the numbers, but it's Praxis something. But go to the Voodoo Garden and look up Ray at the Voodoo Garden and there will You'll see in there somewhere there'll be something that says Praxis. The Voodoo Garden is his indoor growing garden, kind of like my makeshift garden or makeshift grow room. And then the Praxis channel is primarily outside, is outdoor gardening, which, by the way, is going to pick up like crazy here pretty soon. Uh, like mine. When the weather warms up a little bit more, another couple of weeks, I won't be in the makeshift grow room until winter, um, so I will be out in the garden. My makeshift grow room is probably eventually going to not be a makeshift. It's probably going to be a grow room. But no time will tell. Um, yeah. I don't know what I want to do uh, this winter. Definitely want to try to bring one of these um, tomatoes. I'll do another sucker probably and try to bring one of these tomatoes in the house and try that again. Sorry. Overwinter it maybe. Yeah. This thing is just putting up pups like crazy. There's tons of them. They're just exploding all over the bottom of this. Of course, I don't know what it's called. The, con the outside of the container when I bought it said it was a 
something foliage or what I don't know what it is. If you know what kind of plant this is, you let me know. I would like to put a name to it. I just bought it and thought, oh, that's kind of cool. It's gonna be one heck of a bush. It's got growth all up and down the stem and out of the ground. It's putting out new growth like crazy. Sorry. Uh, and the other thing I have too, oh, I can't show it right now. I think it's dying. Is that like a pine fern? For some reason, I can't grow them. I kill them. I I don't know what I'm doing. Overwatering, underwatering. Mm. My spider plant's going crazy. So, um, yeah, I would like to grow some more things. I'm thinking more, maybe exotic, some different stuff. <clears throat> um, once these tomatoes are out of here. This is going to be pretty empty. There's not going to be a whole lot of anything in here. And uh, I think it'd be kind of fun to grow some some coffee. Probably, probably some coffee would be good. Um, I'd like to grow some things. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what I could grow in here, let me know. That would be awesome. And, uh, yeah, I would like to grow some stuff, some other other stuff. I don't know what to what to put in here though. Mm. Probably next week. I don't think about this week. Probably next week. I'll be planting peppers too. I got some bell peppers. And I got some jalapeno peppers. Um I'll be planting those probably next week. I've got some blueberry bushes. I'll probably plant blue, blueberry bushes tomorrow or on Sunday. Got a lot of stuff to do in the yard. None of which is ever going to get done tomorrow. I'm sure of it. My son's got a soccer game, so and I'm coaching the soccer team. Don't know a thing about soccer. I stand on the field and kind of, all right, go get it. All right, go ahead and kick it in. Woo. Other than that, I don't know nothing about soccer. <coughs> um, and my son is four. He's autistic and he doesn't play, so it's not that big of a deal. He just kind of sits there. I'm more like I'm coaching other kids. But have to be there because I am the coach. Um, I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. All right. Well, this has been a long video of nothing. I apologize. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know. My next video, I should be more awake and have a little bit more like, going on up inside the noggin. Right now, I'm just. I'm tired. It's been a long day. So, anyways, goodbye. <laughs> Keep watching. I am the only Sir Cracker, by the way. <laughs> like you didn't know that. <laughs> Good night.